Following this, Ezekiel focuses first on the nations immediately around Israel and then on the two most powerful states in the region, Egypt and then Tyre. Israel has allied with these nations and adopted their gods and their idols. And so God accuses the kings of Tyre and Egypt for arrogantly viewing themselves as gods who get to define right and wrong on their own terms. And God holds these kings accountable for their pride and he announces that he will use Babylon to bring them down. They will face God's justice along with everybody else. Ezekiel 28 The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, Say to the prince of Tyre, Thus says the Lord God, Because your heart is proud, and you have said, I am a god, I sit in the seat of the gods in the heart of the seas, yet you are but a man, and no god, though you make your heart like the heart of a god. You are indeed wiser than Daniel, no secret is hidden from you, By your wisdom and your understanding, you have made wealth for yourself and have gathered gold and silver into your treasuries. By your great wisdom in your trade, you have increased your wealth and your heart has become proud in your wealth. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, because you make your heart like the heart of a God, therefore behold, I will bring foreigners upon you, the most ruthless of the nations, and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of your wisdom and defile your splendor. They shall thrust you down into the pit, and you shall die the death of the slain in the heart of the seas. Will you still say, I am a god, in the presence of those who kill you? Though you are but a man and no god, in the hands of those who slay you, you shall die the death of the uncircumcised by the hand of foreigners. For I have spoken, declares the Lord God. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, raise a lamentation over the king of Tyre and say to him, Thus says the Lord God, You were the signet of perfection, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. You were in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was your covering, sardius, topaz, and diamond, beryl, onyx, and jasper, sapphire, emerald, and carbuncle. And crafted in gold were your settings and your engravings. On the day that you were created, they were prepared. You were an anointed guardian cherub. I placed you. You were on the holy mountain of God. In the midst of the stones of fire you walked. You were blameless in your ways from the day you were created till unrighteousness was found in you. In the abundance of your trade, you were filled with violence in your midst, and you sinned. So I cast you as a profane thing from the mountain of God, and I destroyed you, O guardian cherub, from the midst of the stones of fire. Your heart was proud because of your beauty. You corrupted your wisdom for the sake of your splendor. I cast you to the ground. I exposed you before kings to feast their eyes on you. By the multitude of your iniquities, in the unrighteousness of your trade, you profaned your sanctuaries. So I brought fire out from your midst. It consumed you, and I turned you to ashes on the earth in the sight of all who saw you. All who know you among the peoples are appalled at you. You have come to a dreadful end and shall be no more forever. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, set your face toward Sidon and prophesy against her and say, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against you, O Sidon, and I will manifest my glory in your midst. And they shall know that I am the Lord when I execute judgments in her and manifest my holiness in her. 
for I will send pestilence into her, and blood into her streets, and the slain shall fall in her midst by the sword that is against her on every side. Then they will know that I am the Lord. And for the house of Israel there shall be no more a briar to prick or a thorn to hurt them among all their neighbors who have treated them with contempt. Then they will know that I am the Lord God. Thus says the Lord God, When I gather the house of Israel from the peoples among whom they are scattered, and manifest my holiness in them in the sight of the nations, then they shall dwell in their own land that I gave to my servant Jacob, and they shall dwell securely in it, and they shall build houses and plant vineyards. They shall dwell securely when I execute judgments upon all their neighbors who have treated them with contempt. Then they will know that I am the Lord their God. Ezekiel 29 In the tenth year, in the tenth month, on the twelfth day of the month, the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, set your face against Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and prophesy against him and against all Egypt. Speak and say, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against you, Pharaoh, king of Egypt, the great dragon that lies in the midst of his streams, that says, My Nile is my own, I made it for myself. I will put hooks in your jaws, and make the fish of your streams stick to your scales, and I will draw you up out of the midst of your streams with all the fish of your streams that stick to your scales and I will cast you out into the wilderness, you and all the fish of your streams. You shall fall on the open field, and not be brought together or gathered. To the beasts of the earth and to the birds of the heavens I give you as food. Then all the inhabitants of Egypt shall know that I am the Lord, because you have been a staff of reed to the house of Israel, when they grasped you with the hand, you broke and tore all their shoulders. And when they leaned on you, you broke and made all their loins to shake. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Behold, I will bring a sword upon you, and will cut off from you man and beast. And the land of Egypt shall be a desolation and a waste. Then they will know that I am the Lord, because you said the Nile is mine and I made it. Therefore, behold, I am against you and against your streams, and I will make the land of Egypt an utter waste and desolation, from Migdal to Syene, as far as the border of Cush. No foot of man shall pass through it, and no foot of beast shall pass through it. It shall be uninhabited forty years, and I will make the land of Egypt a desolation in the midst of desolated countries, and her cities shall be a desolation forty years among cities that are laid waste. I will scatter the Egyptians among the nations and disperse them through the countries." For thus says the Lord God, At the end of forty years I will gather the Egyptians from the peoples among whom they were scattered, and I will restore the fortunes of Egypt and bring them back to the land of Pathros, the land of their origin, and there they shall be a lowly kingdom. It shall be the most lowly of the kingdoms, and never again exalt itself above the nations and I will make them so small that they will never again rule over the nations. And it shall never again be the reliance of the house of Israel, recalling their iniquity, when they turn to them for aid. Then they will know that I am the Lord God. In the twenty-seventh year, in the first month, on the first day of the month, the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, made his army labor hard against Tyre, 
Every head was made bald, and every shoulder was rubbed bare. Yet neither he nor his army got anything from Tyre to pay for the labor that he had performed against her. Therefore thus says the Lord God, Behold, I will give the land of Egypt to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and he shall carry off its wealth, and despoil it, and plunder it, and it shall be the wages for his army. I have given him the land of Egypt as his payment for which he labored, because they worked for me, declares the Lord God. On that day I will cause a horn to spring up for the house of Israel, and I will open your lips among them. Then they will know that I am the Lord. Ezekiel 30 The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus says the Lord God, Wail, alas for the day, for the day is near. The day of the Lord is near. It will be a day of clouds, a time of doom for the nations. A sword shall come upon Egypt, and anguish shall be in Cush. When the slain fall in Egypt, and her wealth is carried away, and her foundations are torn down, Cush, and Put, and Lud, and all Arabia, and Libya, and the people of the land that is in league, shall fall with them by the sword. Thus says the Lord, Those who support Egypt shall fall, and her proud might shall come down. From Migdal to Syene, they shall fall within her by the sword, declares the Lord God. And they shall be desolated in the midst of desolated countries, and their cities shall be in the midst of cities that are laid waste. Then they will know that I am the Lord, when I have set fire to Egypt, and all her helpers are broken. On that day, messengers shall go out from me in ships to terrify the unsuspecting people of Cush, and anguish shall come upon them on the day of Egypt's doom. For behold, it comes. Thus says the Lord God, I will put an end to the wealth of Egypt by the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. He and his people with him, the most ruthless of nations, shall be brought in to destroy the land, and they shall draw their swords against Egypt and fill the land with the slain. And I will dry up the Nile and will sell the land into the hand of evildoers. I will bring desolation upon the land and everything in it by the hand of foreigners. I am the Lord. I have spoken. Thus says the Lord God, I will destroy the idols and put an end to the images in Memphis. There shall no longer be a prince from the land of Egypt, so I will put fear in the land of Egypt. I will make Pathros a desolation and will set fire to Zoan, and will execute judgments on Thebes, and I will pour out my wrath on Pelusium, the stronghold of Egypt, and cut off the multitude of Thebes, and I will set fire to Egypt. Pelusium shall be in great agony, Thebes shall be breached, and Memphis shall face enemies by day. The young men of On and Pibeseth shall fall by the sword, and the women shall go into captivity. At Tahafnehes the day shall be dark, when I break there the yoke bars of Egypt, and her proud might shall come to an end in her. She shall be covered by a cloud, and her daughters shall go into captivity. Thus I will execute judgments on Egypt, then they will know that I am the Lord. In the eleventh year, in the first month, on the seventh day of the month, the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, I have broken the arm of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and behold, it has not been bound up to heal it by binding it with a bandage, so that it may become strong to wield the sword. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and will break his arms, both the strong arm and the one that was broken. 
and I will make the sword fall from his hand. I will scatter the Egyptians among the nations and disperse them through the countries. And I will strengthen the arms of the king of Babylon and put my sword in his hand. But I will break the arms of Pharaoh, and he will groan before him like a man mortally wounded. I will strengthen the arms of the king of Babylon, but the arms of Pharaoh shall fall. Then they shall know that I am the Lord when I put my sword into the hand of the king of Babylon, and he stretches it out against the land of Egypt. And I will scatter the Egyptians among the nations and disperse them throughout the countries. Then they will know that I am the Lord. So in today's video, we're gonna take you through a full body dumbbell workout. Yep. Now this is a workout you can follow along with us. So you're gonna to wanna to use a pair of dumbbells that's moderate to lightweight because we're gonna do a lot of different exercises in this video. So for reference, I'm using a 20 pound set of dumbbells. And I'm using a 10 pound set of dumbbells. So if you need a little warm up just to kind of warm your body up yep. before we get started, a lot go ahead of reps. and do that. Otherwise, we're gonna jump right into it. Let's get into it.
All right, guys, hopefully you got a nice workout. Yes, and Dropped your nice core is on fire and your arms are on fire. Exactly. So if this wasn't enough, if you want to go for another round, feel free to do so. You can yep. do two rounds, three rounds, make this 30 minutes, 45 minutes, just kind of make it work for you. Hey, guys, Brent here from the X and Christian Central. I just want to thank you guys for watching our video. We really appreciate it. I really hope it's helping you on your Bible goals and your other goals as well. Uh, be sure to check the links in the description for all the material that made this video possible. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to check the socials, our other socials over here. And please like and subscribe as well. Uh, by now, there should be a video for uh, the Babylon Bees Weekly News. I really encourage you guys to check that out. And our sermon link, which I also encourage, our weekly sermon link. I, I really encourage you guys to check that out as well. I really hope to see you guys tomorrow, and thank you guys again for watching our video. Bye.